Hey guys, just before I do start this video, I just do want to say, uh, remember that creator X Ozkov? I'll show his name here on the screen. Well, uh, today I wanted to check out like what other creations he's made, and oh my god, he has made some really good creations. So I'm just going through his page here at the moment, just showing you guys what he's done, because uh, he has made some really good creations. Like they are some of the best creations I think I've seen in Halo 5 Forge, and I'm not even exaggerating when I say that. So be sure to go check out his stuff, particularly his forerunner vehicles they look very very interesting and i'm gonna review them soon but uh yeah they look very interesting be sure to go check them out if you want to if you feel like being inspired by uh talented forge creators because i mean this guy could be a really good inspiration for forges because they've made some really good creations and just goes to show how good uh you can really make a creation in halo 5 forge so yeah, be sure to go check out his page, and let's get right into this review. So hey everyone, I'm Organix here, and welcome back to a brand new Halo 5 Forge creation review here on the channel. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Flood Wraith in Halo 5, and I'll also be taking a look at a Protector Sentinel from Halo Wars 2 in Halo 5 as well. So yeah, both of these creations are made by X Ozkov, who I mentioned before, and both of these creations look really, really good. So first up we have the Flood Wraith. Now, this is one of the most floodiest vehicles I've actually seen someone make in Halo 5. Because I've seen other people do Flood-like creations, right? And usually what they do is they get a trash bag and like a flower or something and change the color of it and put it on and boom. If you do enough of them, then you can make it sort of look like a Flood. But yeah, with this, uh, I can see what the creator's done here. Instead of using trash bags and flowers, what Exoskov has decided to do is uh, just use rocks and stuff. I can see they've used like a bits of the natural environment to make up the floody look, and it really does work. It actually looks a lot more floodier and a lot more grittier than the trash bags being used. Like if you guys just look around it, you can see that there's quite a bit of detail put in. And you can, what I really like too, right, is at the front of the flooded wraith, you can see that like a, at the side bits of the wraith that are sort of hanging off, you can see that there's like a string of like flood, a str like strings of flood stuff that is like still holding it on, if you know what I mean. And of course I did drive it as well, and uh, driving it wasn't that too important as, you know, it just drives like a normal wraith. But uh, other than that, it just looks really, really cool. And it is one of the floodiest vehicles I've seen in Halo 5. And it would be cool if, like, flood vehicles were in Halo Infinite 2. I don't know if they are, and I don't really think they are. But, but I do know in Halo Wars 2 there are flood vehicles, though, so yeah. Alright, so now let's move on to our second and last creation of the day, which is the Protector Sentinel. Now, what this is, is it's a recreation of the Protector Sentinel from Halo Wars 2. So this is like one of them special units you can get, I think, when you're playing as Isabel. This recreation here in particular really does resemble uh, the Protector Sentinel. It really looks good. Like, you know how you might get them creations, right? That they're trying to be a recreation of something... And then because they might resemble that thing really well, it's like almost like you're actually looking at it. That's sort of what this is like. The actual Protector Sentinel probably looks a bit different to this, but from my memory, this is almost exactly how it looked like. But yeah, so those there are two interesting creations from X Ozkov in Halo 5 Forge. Be sure to go check out more of his creations, uh, because they're just very inspirational in my opinion. Looking at them uh, really let me know that, you know, you can make some really good stuff in Halo 5 Forge if you do have the know-how and you are willing to put into detail and stuff, of course. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video and you do want more Halo 5 Forge creation review related stuff, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye-bye.